Well, time to go back. I feel like I haven't even been here for two weeks. And time to go back to the airport, meet up with Jenna, and we're going straight to Amsterdam. But we're not actually going straight back to Sevilla. So let's begin our journey. You're rushing me. Get your water, I'll get your big one. Two. Two. Yeah. Long time no see. <laughs> well, we have officially made it back to Europe. We are currently in Leiden and the Netherlands because we had to fly to Amsterdam and we have an overnight layover before we get back to Sevilla. So we thought, why not take advantage of this layover, go out to a new city that we haven't explored in the Netherlands, and go from there. But we're both really tired and Jenna's dealing with her Vodafone. <laughs> Once she figures that out, we're gonna go get a cup of coffee and walk around the city, and then pass out at like 8 a.m. Or 8 p.m., not 8 a.m. While we only had a short time in Leiden, we were in awe. The happy people, beautiful canals, and charming architecture made it a perfect overnight stop. Also, everybody was out walking and bicycling and there was just such positive energy. Since we were only here for a short 12 hours, we tried to soak in everything as much as we could. If you're planning on visiting Amsterdam, definitely check out Leiden. We honestly enjoyed it more than our previous trips to Amsterdam. Remember all that cleaning we did in our last video? Let's see if it's still clean. Yeah, this is like really our first impression. So you're getting the, with like a 20 something hour travel day with a little bit of sleep and uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like. See how many roaches there are. I don't see anything yet. Woo! So that's a, that's a promising sign. I'm gonna take my shoesies off. There's like two dead ants. No way! That's it? Yeah, there's like two on the sink over here. Okay, maybe three. Holy crap! Oh, wow, that's actually pretty You think good. our landlord broke in and cleaned it for us? Literally. That's kind of crazy, actually. The month before we left, we were battling an ant war. We would come home and there would be like 200 ants. Like, no joke. So we're like, how can we leave for two weeks? You know, with 200 ants a day? That's a lot but looks good now let's check our room yeah that's true <laughs> that. they're all in our room yeah oh god so it'll be it a straight sock oh yeah everything's fine in here Woo! <laughs> well good morning oh good morning uh we've only been in Sevilla since yesterday and we're already leaving the country. And we really miss being on a plane, so we thought we'd hop on another one. <laughs> this is our third day in a row on another flight, so go us. But we're still excited to hop on a plane because we are going somewhere super cool and important that we've always wanted to go to and is a bucket list for us and yeah. That's about it. <laughs> so not only are we going to dive into the history and culture of this beautiful place, we're going to be celebrating New Year's Eve there as well. So we'll see you there tonight. All right, let's go. Woo! Yeah, we could do it. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> We made it to Vienna. I smacked my nose with a water bottle and we're ready to start off the new year. <laughs> just woke me up. We are gonna take you around the town and see what there is to do and tell you about all the traditions for New Year's Eve. Let's go get some food first. Got vibing hard. 
We actually showed up 10 minutes before the kitchen was closing, but they were very nice and let us order anyways. And I got mixed vegetables with Austrian dumplings, and it is delicious. I was a little nervous when he set it down because I was like, wow, that's the most vegetables I've probably eaten in a while. But it's so good. And Andrew got... I got goulash, which is like this meat soup. I actually don't really know what is inside of it or like how to describe it, but it came with a little bread roll, so that's good. <laughs> We exchange them? Yeah, we you, we gotta tr give each other one. Even though I just bought both. Okay, here's yours. Here's yours. Cheers. <laughs> okay, take your piggy. <laughs> I'll take mine. So, we went to the main area to go check out the show, and it turns out there's like 800,000 people here like we read online. <laughs> so we decided to find a much better, less crowded area, and I think we found it over by the Hofburg Palace. So it's currently 11.30, we're drinking our Glückwein, which if you haven't seen our Nuremberg video, you should check it out. Because we also had it at the Christmas market in Nuremberg. So there is a phrase in German that's exactly like how I'm about to say it. Schwein gehabt, which means to have had a pig, which means a stroke of good luck, which is why you will see pigs throughout Vienna on New Year's. So, in these little markets or around Vienna, you can see places selling these little charms that can be either be pigs or clovers or mushrooms or whatever, and people will exchange them for good luck. But it's cute. We get to keep it as a souvenir. Cheers, Glückwein. So we're currently in Heldenplatz, and as you can probably hear, there are fireworks going off like crazy everywhere around the city. It is 11.49, so we still have 11 minutes, so I think people are just buzzing. That's a really British word, I don't know why I said that. But we don't see any yet. We hear them. I can see a few, but not a, a lot. You can hear them though, They're, people are going crazy, so I'm assuming at midnight it'll be wild. Yeah. Oh, I see some. There's one. There's another one. Six, five. 